Hi everyone, I'm Howard Banich, contributing editor for Sky and Telescope magazine. This short video is to demonstrate the steps I outlined in my June 2022 article, Drawing in the Dark. And hopefully seeing how this is done in real time will make the process seem more accessible. Um, again, this is just the way I do it. There's many ways to, to, to sketch at the eyepiece and otherwise. So if you, if you copy exactly what I do, that's great, but if it's a motivation for your own process, that's even better. So to, to start, I have six steps, and you notice I'm holding the pencil. This is not how I hold my pencil when I'm gonna write. Um, I'm holding the pencil at a very shallow angle to the paper. It's nearly parallel, and the reason is so I'm using the side of the pencil lead, not the tip. Now I'm just gonna start making these scribbly back and forth semi-parallel lines. I'm, I'm trying at a bigger scale than I recommended in the article just to make this easier to see in the video. You see, I'm just making an overall semi-circular patch with my pencil, getting the, the lead down on the paper as, as evenly as doing it quickly without trying to be perfect uh, can be here and so all right so that's that's not horrible now I'm going to make the, the the center using the same technique just the center darker going back and forth with the pencil lead just in short shorter lines you can see how imprecise I am you know a little bit of randomness here is good because when we get to the smudging part that takes care of all kinds of things all right so there so there's a yeah, more or less circular semi-oval patch of pencil lead on white paper. So now we're going to use our little smudger. I use my little finger. Let's use a circular motion. Smear the pencil lid around. And you can see the individual pencil lines all, are all gone now. They've all been smeared into a, a more consistent and somewhat nebulous looking patch of, of pencil. So now I just come back in with the pencil lid again because that smearing also makes things lighter. And just come back in and put lead in where it seems like it should be darker. Just kind of trying to keep it somewhat smooth. But again, you know, don't, don't try to be perfect at this stage either. In fact, there's really not many stages you have to be perfect at. In the, and for this short video, we're, we won't even get into it. So just gradually darker towards the center. Yeah, it's kind of like you're drawing a, a pile of sand, let's say, looking straight down on it. I don't know if that's a good analogy or not, but anyway. So there you go. So come back in, do a little smudging. All right, here's kind of some pencil lines that didn't quite quite get smudged away into invisibility. Come in here with my pencil. Come back in here and smear away the, the pencil lines. So, okay, now I have kind of a, an oval shape area here, just a little more pencil in. And you can see I keep my pencil moving in the same direction. I'm not going at, at, at different angles to each other because what, when you do that, you almost invariably are able to see the, uh, the patchwork neighbor, uh, neighbor nature of those lines. So let's come back here, keep that going. All right, I'm being a little fussy here. I'm on video, why not? Okay, so a little bit darker. All right, okay, come back in with the tip of the pencil now like you are writing. Make a tiny little star-like dot. And there you have a very nice elliptical galaxy, NGC something, something, something. So again, straightforward, not complicated, not necessarily easy. I've been doing this for a while, so I probably made that look too easy. But practice it. I mean, this is doodling. You know, you can, you can do this instead of looking at your phone while you're watching TV. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for your time and good luck to you.